Okay. So, Druce of 82 and Praetor are back here in the fourth installment. Um, yep. We started off with bullies and the uh, uh, the utility of, of uh, the, the bully in, uh, in society and, mm-hmm. and uh, socializing children uh, mm-hmm. to the... <laughs> To the realities uh, of life, uh, yeah. and then we since we moved yeah, on. Well, now we actually have a situation where we're talking about. We, we just ended up with a bully again. Bullies, uh, bullying yeah. an, uh, uh, bullying an adult. Yeah. You know, but you broke into a bit, a really big thing here, which is the hierarchy. Yeah, and teaching kids yeah. about a hierarchy of life. And I, why don't you elaborate on that? Because to me, understanding that there is a hierarchy in life and that you're not just king of your own castle. Uh, it's really important for a kid to know, especially a punk ass kid, yeah. that if they ever see me in the supermarket, I will lay out in the middle of the freaking line. Well, I mean, it has to do with reality, you know. And as my dad used to say, there's always someone bigger and badder. And yeah. so, I mean, and, 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 yeah, and 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 societally uh, and in reality, there is there are hierarchies. I mean, everywhere. And I, I think if you don't observe, well, but them, Drew, I thought everyone's going to be an astronaut. Yeah, everyone's special, right? Well, this is totally artificial, and it sets children up for failure and ultimately unhappiness. Uh, you need to recognize that that you can't just go talk to everybody because you know you're gonna you're gonna come up and you're gonna pick that fight with that unassuming little you know 150 pound uh, soaking wet guy at the bar who turns out to be a Navy SEAL and he'll fucking kill you. Okay, so I mean, it really as a species, it is a defense mechanism. Uh, that you have to understand that there's a hierarchy. It all has to do with preservation of the species and understanding how, you know, uh, how, how, how the real world works. And, you know, there's a point to that. And the point is that, you know, you learn. And uh, so you can avoid uh, <laughs> uh, dangerous situations, you know. Okay, well, I guess the, the question everyone's probably asking is, okay, we're a bunch of smart asses talking about this, you know, over radio. How do you fix it? What, what's our solution to fixing this problem with understanding a hierarchy, understanding respect, with not being a wuss, and about understanding that bullies aren't necessarily all that bad? Because apparently all of our NPR listeners are probably thinking, man, these guys are just a bunch of douches. I, they wouldn't say that. They, these men are below common society. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, look, how do we change anything? You know, I mean, if it's not bullies, you know, whatever, fill in the blank. Uh, you know, uh, sickness or uh, uh, issue that play, plays. Maybe everyone. Maybe it's true. Maybe everyone has ADD. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, um, no. I mean, seriously though, I would say that uh, I, I think that we can af- affect no sort of meaningful uh, change on a macro level at all um, okay. until we change ourselves. Okay. I think we're a sick society. I think that we are. Uh, Totally, totally deteriorating. Uh, now you're getting, and you know, I think that until we address and really grapple with some of the issues that we have as a people, we're never, we're, we're never going to have any meaningful change. So what, what do I mean? Well, uh, not to, you know, pawn this idea off uh, as my own. Uh, it's Gerald Salente, he, he speaks about this often, and I, I, I completely agree with him. By the way, um, he talks about, you know, we're, we're never going to change this, uh, you know. Uh, the government or society until we change as a, as a you know, individually, you know, and, and that, 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 uh, you know, demands, you know, you start demanding more of yourself. You have self-respect, uh, dignity, uh, and honor, personal honor, and really understanding that these are not, uh, you know, arcane or, uh, uh, quaint little references from, a. Uh, you know, a, a quaint idealized past, like a Norman Rockwell past. These are these are true concepts. I mean, these are real things. You know, the tr- true mm-hmm. self respect. You know, you know, and, and 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 how you live your life and conduct your business and affairs and how you interact with your family and friends and mm-hmm. what kind of role you play in this, in in your society and in your community, really. Uh, so mm-hmm. I think until we start to wake up to that and we start to demand more of ourselves as a you know individually. Uh, You'll never, we'll never see any change. Honestly, I mean, I think the uh, the inertia, uh, the uh, the inertia into uh, immorality, or the inertia of immorality in this country is mm-hmm. is uh, is great. And I think unless we, uh, I think it's just too great to overcome unless you know individually we we work on it ourselves. So I'll, I'll respond to that in our next part. Okay.